Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like, would like you to know at this time. Okay, so we have the King of Swords, Six of Swords, Four of Cups, that did come out just a moment ago, and we have Strength, Leo, Energy, okay. This is very interesting because it feels, oops, a very similar message to the one that just came out. Um, but now there's even more determination and focus. So what I'm seeing here is that in terms of this this general portion of the reading, there is somebody who in their life, this isn't you, this is someone else. Um, look, we've got the world in reverse. They're making some kind of big decision, you know, that involves some kind of big ending and a big transition. and this is leading to them coming towards you and making you some kind of offer and i think this is something really really good and i feel you are going to recognize the value of this and you are going to take it but i think it's unexpected it might um create some big changes in your life as well even if they're positive they might be sudden they might be unexpected but i think you're going to say you know what i'm not going to let nerves get in the way or feeling like i need more time to plan stop me from taking this i'm going to go for this I do think this will be very um, surprising. So maybe it's from someone you're not expecting, or maybe it's someone you're hoping um, to hear from or to see, but the offer is much, much bigger than, than you really thought would, would, you know, make sense practically at this time. Yeah, look at this, two of wands. Oh yes, this came out um, just a minute ago as well. In fact, this was the first card out, the Hierophant reverse. Someone is leaving a contract, a commitment, whether it's a relationship and they're coming towards you. It could be something to do with work and they're coming towards you to offer you something, but it's big. It's a big transition in their life and it's gonna be a big transition in yours if you accept. We have Taurus here. <clears throat> we have, yes, the Eight of Wands. It's coming in fast. I think when it comes in, you're going to have to um, act quickly as well and yeah look page of wands I see you going for this it seems like something new um, so even if it's someone you already know and actually I think it is in whichever context that is um, it's a new a new journey that you're beginning together it's a new path that you're walking um, and you might be learning lots of new things it might be in an unfamiliar place you might move you might travel for this with the eight of wands you could go maybe to another um, place within your country or even a different country here but I see you you know grabbing this opportunity and going for it um let's have a little bit more of a look at this person so why what's going on with them why are they thinking of you why are they so determined to make this offer to you because this is someone very smart this king of wands and they're not sorry oh, king of wands okay maybe you know maybe they're very passionate as well but how they're coming across on the surface is this king of swords um this is someone who isn't just saying oh well you know you're there so i might as well give it to you no they have really thought this through oh death death in reverse we have scorpio so um this person has been through a big transformation recently in their own life um it could be something to do some you know working on something together age of pentacles let's take that as well um Okay, so they could feel that you are someone they've watched or they've seen how hard you can work, how focused you are, you can be trusted, you're serious, you're not going to take this big offer and just, you know, um, waste it and kind of ruin whatever they've built or they're working towards. Eight of Cups. Also, they're walking towards you because they feel that you are an ideal partner. You are the, you know, you're like two halves of a whole, whether again we're talking about work, um, love, um, I don't know, starting some kind of passion project together that's very important to them and will become important to you. Whatever it is, this person saying, I'm walking towards you, you are my two of cups here. Um, so lots of thought has gone into this and we've got the moon here. One, two, <clears throat> two times. Well, it's nighttime there as well, so I'll include that. But um, this is happening quietly. It's going to be a surprise to you. I don't think this person is letting other people know they're coming towards you. They're coming towards you first before they tell everyone else. We have the six of wands on the back. So um, I do feel what, ooh, the lovers. I do feel whatever this is, um, it's going to leave you feeling like, yes, this is a big moment of success, victory for me. I feel recognized, I'm excited about this. It's just the kind of thing um, I wanted, even if I didn't realize at the time, even if I wasn't even considering something like this. 
Okay. Let's have a look at this page of wands. So how are you going to feel? Let's have a look in more depth here. Oh, look, see, King of Cups, emotionally, yes, you really want this, you really like this, Seven of Cups. I do feel there's a chance for a bit of overwhelm, confusion, because it's sudden, it's big, um, but I think you're going to go for it anyway. Nine of Pentacles, wow. So, yeah, feeling like this is bringing in lots of prosperity in whichever sense, abundance, you're feeling confident. Again, you're feeling very valued, seen, recognised. And I will just say, often with... Um, the depiction of the seven of cups you know in some of the cups we've got things that we might not necessarily want there's usually if we think of the rider waite smith deck there's um a cloth over one of them so we've got no idea everything in all of these cups is very very nice so um i don't think i think it's a win-win situation if you go for this i don't think there are going to be any unpleasant surprises so um yeah i think you know that and i think you're going to go for it oh look nine of cups wow Okay, so let's get an oracle card and I'll read from the book to see what this says for you. And then we'll move into the love section. I mean, this could be love as well, but this is, I'm leaving this open. So it could be love, work, you know, whatever it is. Um, you do have someone coming in and offering you something big. And this is someone who's very sturdy, stable, grounded. Um, hold on, the only major arcana that we have here is in terms of the the corresponding signs is taurus and scorpio so you see that taurian energy of someone who when they commit they commit um if they invest they're you know thinking long term if they build something you can trust it's stable and then we have the the scorpionic energy connected to pluto endings new beginnings transformation this is big it's serious whoever this is coming towards you um whatever they're offering they're intending this to be serious you know seriously long term here and i actually think what might be so surprising about this is that this is someone who as i said when they commit when they make a commitment they can stay in it even perhaps beyond what's good for them um so you might be surprised to find out that one of their commitments they've made has come to an end it might have seemed like you know it was impossible or they would never leave or it would never end or it would never change or something like that okay or i'm hearing that they would um prioritize you so you might have felt like this person's loyalty was to someone else or to a company over you or to you know whatever it is but actually i think they're coming to you about something first without the knowledge of this other person or these other people okay so what's the message please for my viewers for this general part of the reading okay that's way too many I'm being told something about a mole, you know, moles under the ground. And I know they can't see very well, but the message I'm getting is that this person is um, observing you. Um, I don't know why a mole is coming through. I mean, they dig around in the dirt, don't they, at night? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but it's just strange because I know they don't have great vision, but the message attached was clearly that this person's observing you. So... I don't know maybe they're, they're watching you in a way that's not just in you know with their 3d sight maybe energetically they, they can feel that this would be a good idea or something okay can we have a message thank you okay fine we will take two clearly today it's not about one message so we've got the number 52 and we have the number 13 we have trine slash sextile with sim symbiosis um and we have dignified strength Ooh, and then we did have the strength card here okay all right let me see what the book says about these we'll start with 52 okay trine and sextile planets promote oh my goodness sorry <laughs> let me start again and keep my reactions to myself trine and sextile planets promote collaboration by backing one another up cheering one another on and adding strength and value to their roles mm. okay there we go um let me just skip straight to the action um 
Lean in to what is easy and comfortable and use that comfort to renew, grow and expand. Look for people who have compatible and complementary ideas or skills to yours. Work with your allies. Gently expand your world through compatible people, collaborative skills and through doing what you love. Look for a person who holds a missing piece. Wow. And bring them in. Okay. There we go. I mean, that's that's exactly it. Yeah. So this person has decided you are the missing piece and they're coming forward to collaborate in whichever sense that is. And then it says here the challenge. Um, the path of least resistance can be both delightful and limiting. Don't get stuck in a comfortable rut. Yes, so I think this is the message for you that if you're feeling like this involves you being brave and courageous but you want to do it, the, the advice is yes, absolutely, go for it. Okay, so let's have a look at this dignified card. Let me just show you these if you want to have a look at the images. Okay, and 13 is the number of the death card in tarot as well. Okay, a planet is at its strongest when it is essentially or accidentally dignified in a sign or placement that aligns with its nature and adds strength. For example, Mars is most, it's Mars-like when in Scorpio or Aries. The two signs it rules or in Capricorn, which is a strong sign of leadership. Um, action. Your voice matters. Trust that you are what's needed here at this moment. You are in your element and at the right place at the right time, so you have an advantage, but it's up to you to make a choice and run with the ball. Okay, well, there we go. You're in the right place at the right time. Well, maybe in the sense that you've met this person at some point in your life, because it's not a fluke. They've thought about this, but look, it does make you feel recognised. Trust that you're exactly what they're looking for. Don't have any doubt. If this offer seems too big for what you're ready for, too good to be true, I would say it's not too big. You are you are ready. Um, and it doesn't look too, too good to be true. So yes, as this says, um, it's up to you, you know, to make the choice to go for it, to accept this. So I would say accept it you know if you're not seeing any red flags you're not concerned if the only thing holding you back is like wow this is sudden it's big am i ready for this i would say go for it because it seems to me you definitely are okay so let's move into specifically the love section of this reading Okay, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my viewers, please, in terms of their love life or love lives? Messages, please, for my viewers in terms of love and romance. Love and romance, please. Oh, Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay. The world. For some of you, I'm just going to say this definitely connects to what we saw just a moment ago in the general part. You're getting a message about some kind of an ending that's happening for someone or um, an invitation to travel, potentially. We've got the Magician, Gemini energy there. As I was shuffling, I was feeling Cancer energy as well. And we have the Eight of Cups reversed. Yeah, someone's coming towards you. Someone who maybe they walked away or you walked away or time has just passed and, you know, circumstances in life have sort of pulled you in different directions. There's a reunion coming in. I wonder if for some of you, you've manifested this actually, whether you've done it intentionally or simply through, you know, wishing, hoping for um, a reunion. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. Knight of Wands, some Sagittarius energy. For some of you, you're definitely going to be traveling. Whether it's, you know, I traveled um, 20 minutes down the road to meet with this person, or I traveled to another country, you know, um, but some kind of travel that makes you feel excited. We have the King of Pentacles reversed. And we have the Knight of Swords. So I am seeing big changes. Um, <clears throat> we've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse on the back. That's an interesting, confusing energy to be there. So I'll come back to this, um, you know, compared to this quick moving energy. So an ending that has happened, um, potentially a new cycle definitely coming in. What I will say, I'm just, you know, let's just start with what's really obvious to me is that 
I feel your energy is very interwoven with somebody else's. So there's, I feel for many of you, there's already someone on your mind, someone you've been thinking about, um, maybe kind of intensely or for a period of time here. Not, you know, you didn't just meet them yesterday. Um, and energetically speaking, you know, you're, you're combined here. You're all sort of, you're, you're crossing over one another. I think your goals, your wishes are from both of you are intermingled here as well, because I'm seeing lots of back and forth energy. So I feel like, um, and, you know, switch it if the roles make sense the other way. But what I think <clears throat> might have happened is that this person has gone through some kind of an ending here um, and they want to make an approach towards you. And I actually do think they will. And what they're going to communicate with you is that whatever's happened with this ending, let's see, it's changed something up for them in a big, dramatic way. King of Pentacles, we know that's the energy of... Um, day-to-day -day things, our, our practical life, the commitments we make, the things we take care of, something has changed for them and um, two of wands reversed. <clears throat> yeah, you know, fair play to them, they're not, they don't seem to be crying about it, they're looking at it as an opportunity um, to manifest something new, something more in line with what they actually want at this point and you seem to be in line with, well you are part of this new future that they want, let's see. King of Pentacles, please, in the reverse. I feel this is coming in quickly. It's coming in um, with a lot of passion behind it. This might be a new energy that you're seeing from this person who normally comes across as very held together, very composed, very experienced. They're coming in actually and out as a knight. But I think what you might like is that um, there's more of a feeling of impulsiveness, like if they want to say something, they say it. They don't think, oh, how is it going to affect me, you, the next door neighbour, the milkman? You know, it's like, I want to say it, I'm just going to say it. Or I'm feeling something, so I'm just going to show you. I think it, it feels kind of fresh, actually. Tell me about this King of Pentacles reversed. Oh, look at this, you see, Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Page of Swords in reverse. So they're coming forward based on some idea they have. Um, they might have something to offer you, um, and they have an idea of how this can grow, how this can expand. But yeah, look, they're, they're resetting, they're going back to a page here. Um, and ordinarily, they might have an idea, they plan it through, they think of every possible outcome, they decide which outcome is most likely, then they decide if they should come forward towards you or not. But something big has happened, something big enough, to change their approach here um, to almost maybe change their personality a little bit as well and um, they're not overthinking it's like they're coming forward and saying well what do you think of this this is very you know for some of you this is definitely connected to the first spread that we did um, I also see they might want to rush in and tell you something about how they actually feel about you something that they I'm hearing they held it to themselves and they left so maybe they they knew they had some feelings um, that they kept in and then they walked away or pushed you away or something like that and now they want to come in and speak about these yep eight of wands communication there and then the six of wands so yes i'm seeing again you're going to feel validate validated by this you're going to feel happy and recognized um india could be a country that's important to some of you some of you could be from there live there be traveling there Okay, let's have a look at this Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this is you minding your own business. Yeah, we've got strength there, Leo energy. The moon in reverse. So we have Pisces. Something could have happened around the full moon in Pisces that we just had. Um, if you're watching this when it's released. And then we get the Four of Cups reversed. So this, I think, is something you have wished for. And some of you have definitely intentionally manifested this. Others of you, as I said, you've manifested maybe through wishing, through longing. Um, you might have already had signs of this coming in through dreams that you've had. Um, I wouldn't be surprised because, as I said, the energy with this person um, feels like it's sort of mixed in with yours. So you might have lots of telepathic communication going on. Um, but yes, this, this person is coming in in kind of a different way more impulsive um but not reckless you know when i say more impulsive for this kind of personality it just means they're being less rigid about things and 
um, allowing themselves to act more on what they want. They're not, you know, doing a plan for six months before they say one thing to you. Um, so still someone you can definitely trust here. Let's look, have a look at this Knight of Pentacles reversed because that does not make sense to me unless it's how they used to show up, you know, immovable. There's a stagnation perhaps in the past around this. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Oh, maybe something that they're leaving behind just isn't working anymore or it's come to a stop and they're not putting any effort into that anymore. Yes, death. Okay, so this is what they're leaving behind, I think. Um, Scorpio energy, again, a huge transformation. So the thing they're leaving behind, it's something that has literally run its course and whichever way they look at it, it's not moving forward, it's done. So you see how this person's very thorough? Um, they're not just going to walk away from something if there's still a chance to make it work. So this is good news in that whatever this is, um, let's say it's a family situation and they wanted it to work for their children or something like that. Um, it's not like they're going to approach you and think, oh, you know what? There's something I didn't try. Um, actually, I think I'm going to go back to my, my um, ex-wife or husband or something like that. You know, they've tried everything. So if they're telling you it's over, it's over. Um, OK, so let's finish up this part of the reading with a card or two from the Mother's Oracle. Oh gosh. I'm not having a good time shuffling these today. <laughs> okay, we have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Yeah, I do think we have this, um, you know, the, the Knight of um, Wands, the Knight of Swords. We've got more of a relaxed, playful energy coming in. And there's a feeling of, okay, if we, you know, if we're moving this forward, we'll try it one way. If it doesn't work, that's fine. We'll just um, switch course and, and move, you know, keep moving forward always. But we'll just, you know, take a different approach. I don't think that it was like this in the past. I think it was... Um, Maybe you felt tense around this person, almost like every time you interacted with them, you were walking on eggshells because you knew if something went wrong, it would be a disaster. You wouldn't talk to them for six months or something like that, or they would retreat back into their shell. Maybe that was the cancer energy that was coming through, not talking specifically about cancer, but if you think of um, cancer represented by a crab, you know, hide in its, it doesn't hide. <laughs> well, I mean, I suppose it does if it's scared, but you know, it has that hard shell. So you might have felt like, you know you were playing a game of chess and you had to be so careful to try and move things forward or get close to this person but um they're much more relaxed now i'm seeing okay we have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly you must let go of resentment so okay i do think in the past your person didn't like emotions they were they were all about logic rationale um when emotions came up maybe it freaked them out maybe that's one of the reasons they pulled away if they did pull away i also feel like this is a chance to have a new beginning with this person but spirit's saying there might be some things that happened in the past um that you're going to both have to talk about you know and release or maybe forgive or let go of if you want to have um this new opportunity okay look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean so that's a message from them and i believe that if you do sort of sit um with yourself for a moment you will feel it actually because of of how connected you are energetically okay and then we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform yeah exactly and you see how we have playfulness delight fun um, excitement, youthful energy of, of sort of potential. Then we have, oh, it's getting emotionally tense. There's resentment. And then we have, oh, but I love you so much. And then we have the potential to criticize each other. So you see how it's a mixed bag and it would be best to get rid of these or to work through these difficult feelings so you can move forward with the love and the playfulness. You don't want this kind of back and forth, hot and cold um, energy here, which may have been something you, you saw in the past. So yes, um, whatever you need to do, you know, if you do need to sort of um, have a discussion, release, forgive whatever you know understand what happened in the past so that you can kind of draw a line under it and move forward um, I think that's probably a good idea to do that early on okay so I'm going to clear this away and when I want to come back we will do just a sort of a short uh, candle reading and see what comes through candle wax reading 
Okay, so I have my bowl of water. Let me light the candle. Okay. So let's see what messages we get. <laughs> um, some of you will be getting a dog or a puppy, um, something around if you have a dog or a puppy, something nice um, is happening. Um, there's a connection to Ireland here or something Irish, also maybe good luck coming in. I'm seeing lots of good things so far, uh, very positive. There's a message about um, a child. I don't know if it's if someone's worrying is a child sort of going off the rails. I don't think so. I think they just want to explore their individuality or find out um, the things that they enjoy at this point. So I don't know if they're kind of at an age where, um, you know, they've been doing the things that you enjoyed them doing and now they're trying to figure out what their own hobbies are, that sort of thing. Yeah, again, I'm getting this message of transformation. So going through something um, particularly difficult, but the message here is that things are getting easier, that you will come out the other side, but it hasn't been an easy journey and it might still not be that easy um, at this time. Some of you, I feel, are being watched by someone who lives near you, so it could be a neighbor or something like that. I think this person's pretty nosy, there might be a bit of a gossip. There's nothing worrying um, around it though, just kind of a bit annoying, a bit invasive really. And just a heads up, you know, if you're doing something that you want to keep private, maybe go that extra step to keep it private or do it at a time when you know they're at work or something like that, because otherwise they will be, well, just being nosy really. Something about Capricorn. This is um, a specific message, but if you have, if you are a Capricorn or you have Capricorn in your chart somewhere, or for some reason, you know, that's an important sign or energy for you, there's a, there's, um, a feeling of the energy around you being a bit rigid, like wearing um, a straight jacket or something. So maybe shaking up the energy around you through a clearing, intention setting, or just changing up your routine or doing something different. I have to say, I feel that there might be someone around you um, with this Capricorn energy, like if, if Capricorn is relevant to you, who is benefiting from you feeling, or, or kind of just doing the same thing every day and feeling a little bit restricted. I don't think you need to do much around that, just, um, you know, set the intention to break free from that really. And they'll probably reveal themselves, they'll probably remove themselves from your life. Yeah. Oh, some of you could be getting roses from someone. Okay, is there anything else? And then Michael is coming through. I don't know if that's someone you know. Maybe someone's been working with Archangel Michael. If you are driving somewhere, um, I don't want to create panic or fear, but just be vigilant. Just be... Um, you know, if you know oh, I shouldn't drive, I'm a bit tired, or I've had a drink, I shouldn't drive, don't. Don't drive. Get someone to meet you, or get a taxi, or something like that. Okay, is there anything else? Um, singing, if you've wanted to sing, look into that. Anything else? No. Okay, so I will leave that there. So I hope, you know, this resonated or one part of the um, three reads resonated. But thank you so much for being here, for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.